This is After Midnight, the only game show where everything is based on real events that happened to me. <laughs> this is my story. <laughs> Let's meet tonight's panelists. <laughs> She's an Emmy-nominated writer you can see in her comedy special, Sis Woke Grief Slut. It's Lori <laughs> Kilmartin. <laughs> wasn't taken. <laughs> um, I spent a decade writing monologue jokes for Conan, but today I guess I'll go ahead and use my talents for hashtag fart movies. <laughs> we don't deserve you. We don't deserve you, Lori. You've heard and seen her on TV and the internet or in person for the last 100 years. It's Jackie Cation. <laughs> I've been this for a long, long time. There aren't enough white women on television. <laughs> She's a comedian, actor, and best-selling author you know from Netflix's Lady Dynamite. It's Maria Bamford! I'm too old not to be successful in show business. <laughs> Dame Judy Dench, Betty White, Joan Rivers. I'm not old enough! <laughs> Tonight, you'll all be playing for New Year's Eve sunglasses from the year 2009. <laughs> this was the last year where it made sense to have the two little eye circles. Every year since then, it's been shoehorned in. <laughs> so let's start with the stories people are talking about on the internet today. It's the group chat. <laughs> Panelists, buzz in with your jokes, and if you hear this noise, you get 100 points. Oh. Ooh. Writing tourist slogans is a fine art. For example, the phrase, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, established the city as the place to go to cheat on your wife. <laughs> but now the Telegraph thinks AI might be able to do a better job of writing tourist slogans and provided several examples, like Oman, where beauty beckons, or Antigua, paradise awaits, or after midnight, big screen points blonde lady. <laughs> These are so vague. Panelists, why don't you give me some more specific tourist slogans? Jackie. Uh, Armenia, where do Uber people come from? Oh. <laughs> the, according to the Turks, that's why we're everywhere. Oh, not the Turks again. <laughs> <laughs> this one and the Turks. Maria. The United States, watch your back. <laughs> Barcelona, those four years of Spanish she took in high school are going to be youthless. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon, one of our nation's largest and therefore best companies, is in a bit of hot water. In 2020, the mega company introduced an innovative way to check out at grocery stores without having a cashier. You just grab your and go. <laughs> well, it turns out they weren't using AI to make that possible. They were using more than 1,000 people in India watching and labeling oh. videos to ensure accurate checkouts. In their defense, this show also relies on thousands of underpaid people. At CBS, <laughs> we call them interns. <laughs> Panel, Amazon messed up, but we've all made silly mistakes. What's something you've lied about? Maria. I told my husband, look, you thought we were married. Um, I've, I outsourced most of it to some virtual assistants. Um, that's why I don't keep the lights on in the bedroom. Jackie? I told everyone that I read Infinite Jest. <laughs> But actually, thousands of people in India read it for me and then just summed it up. <laughs> oh, Lori. Uh, I wrote a book about my dad dying of cancer, but actually, he's alive, living in India, working for Amazon. <laughs> Not your dead dad again. <laughs> Good news, everyone. Gentrification isn't just for trust fund babies anymore. Birds are doing it, too. According to an article published in the BBC, scientists are saying that since wild seagulls are being driven into urban spaces, humans should stop seeing them as a nuisance and start seeing them as charming. Quote, when we 
see behaviors we think of as mischievous or criminal, almost we're seeing a really clever bird implementing very intelligent behavior. <laughs> wow, I love when science is just a PR spin. <laughs> I don't know about you, but to me, this whole article just sounded like a seagull wrote it. So, <laughs> panelists, give me a PSA that comes from a human and definitely not a seagull. Jackie. Mine, mine, mine. Mine, mine, <laughs> mine, mine, mine. <laughs> Lori. Remember, what you call bird <laughs> we call white kisses. <laughs> <laughs> they heard white and they were like, no, that can't be good. <laughs> Take another direction. <laughs> Maria. <laughs> we need more representation of seagulls outside the horror genre. <laughs> we're not just sky rats, we're actors. <laughs> All right, strap in, I'm gonna say white again. <laughs> yeah, sorry. sorry. Every white nerd's favorite country, Japan, is facing something of a problem in the distant future. According to a professor, every person in Japan will have the same last name by the year 2531 due to specific marriage laws in the country. Panel, what I wanna know is, do you really think humans will still be around in 500 years? <laughs> Lori. I do think we'll be around in 500 years, and the professor also says in that article that in 500 years, all male stand-up comedians will have the first name Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I do know a lot of Josh. <laughs> Jackie. Uh, not if I have anything to do with it. <laughs> I'm made of bees! I'm so angry. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh, my answer is, uh, will we be around in 500 years, human beings? No. <laughs> In Satan, we rebuke thee, news. <laughs> the show was born in a dark turn. <laughs> Apple's Vision Pro has a new feature called Spatial Personas, which are avatars designed to mimic users' facial expressions and hand gestures. Oh my God. Spatial Personas oh. are an absolute game changer for remote collaboration. Here is Matt and I playing with a Sega Genesis. Why? <laughs> yep, a little. Rock, paper, scissor action. Timing of that did not quite work. <laughs> also, like, what a loser. You have a ghost friend and you're like, rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> well, isn't friendship enough? <laughs> <laughs> I can't decide whether these tech ghouls are about to revolutionize my workflow or drag me to hell. <laughs> Combining the twin horrors of tech and the occult, panelists, give me a TED talk from one of these avatar ghosts. Maria. I'll give you a taste of what's gonna happen in the future. I'm giving a TED talk. <laughs> Lori. Uh, let's talk about state surveillance. Yes, I can hover over you and watch you having sex, and yes, I do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jackie. Woo! <laughs> it would be problematic. <laughs> nice work. Has Sorry. anyone used those yet? The little camera to be in a different world? The Vision yes. Pro. The... I mean, I drink, but... <laughs> <laughs> Maria is in the lead with 800 points. Oh, my God. You brought your phone. Uh, Maria, what does pride come before? Uh, the fall? <laughs> Which it's is a spring. great rock band. <laughs> I expect everyone in the lead to enjoy it that much. <laughs> Stick around, we'll be right back.